Hi, it's Father Smith, the pastor at St. Luke Parish in River Forest. It's been some time since I've joined you all on a video, but today, because of important renovations going on in our parish uh, this summer, I'd like to take you for a little tour. Come with me. As we enter the church, you'll notice several improvements already. Most noticeable will be the lighting. The lighting is now zone lighting, so various zones of the church could be lit up with dimmable LEDs, and it's much, much brighter uh, and a nicer lighting experience for our parish. Now the sanctuary will be well lit, elimination of all shadows, and then the ability to spotlight the uh, Blessed Sacrament at the and the Eucharist uh, in, the, in the front of the apse of our, of our church. You'll notice that the floor has been cleaned, both the porcelain and the plate floor, revealing a beautiful floor, a lot of color. Um, the pews have been removed and are being refinished currently. Um, the flooring under the pews is going to be replaced. The tile is cracking and discolored and damaged beyond repair or beyond cleaning, so we're going to be replacing that as well. You'll notice that the woodwork throughout the church, especially the wainscoting, has been stripped and it is awaiting refinishing in terms of on that beautiful stain and varnish that will complement and highlight the beautiful natural qualities of the wood. We'll stop here at the crucifixion scene. The crucifixion scene is being moved into the apse of the church and it's uh, currently being relocated. The crucifix itself has been hoisted with a, a, a large hoist and a winch and uh, they're currently uh, removing the, 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 the rod that pinned it into place uh, through the uh, foundation of the church. That will then be rolled from the back of the church to its rightful place in the front of the apse of the uh, daily chapel. crucifix this morning as you can see and uh, uh, we're going step by step and leaving the, the crucifixion scene with the scaffolding over the floor but looking the floor and looking the weight up uh, kind of in a cantilevered fashion uh, to make sure that the, the, the structure is assigned and the crucifix is moved safely. A three-foot marble base is being built to hold the crucifix scene, surrounded by the figures of our Blessed Mother, Mary Magdalene, and St. John. It will change the whole view of the church when it is completed, and I invite everyone to stop in and take a look at our beautiful church after all the renovations are completed in early September.